hey there guys and welcome back to Donkey Kong Country Returns it's time for world 83 roasting rails which I'm pretty damn sure is a bloody minecart level and we all know how much I hate those all right let's give it a go see how far we can get before I need to call in the bloody super guide which I'm sure will happen in a minecart level all right now oh, great ceiling drops why does everything drop in this world? Maybe even Justin Bieber's balls. Yeah, I made a Justin Bieber joke. Get with it. Is that thing gonna close or... No, it's not. Okay. Oh, great. Here we go. Minecart. Whoa, crap. Yeah, they're not pulling any punches here. Okay. Part two. Whoa. Hmm. They have you switching minecarts an awful lot and there we go first death already oh boy this level is gonna be hell on my balloon supply whoa almost fell in the bloody lava there I am at most definitely gonna hate this level alright here we go again at least I kinda got this part done you don't actually need to jump here but you can if you want to you do need to jump there though otherwise you'll be heading off for a one-way trip into the bloody lava okay no don't jump crap I keep thinking I need to jump there but I don't this level just plays tricks on your mind because there's just so much crap going on like the lava and the tracks flying around and DK struggling to stay in his bloody minecart. It's just too much for one person. Alright, here we go again. I mean, look at this mess. Like, the minecart levels were hard enough when it was just like a straight track with some obstacles. Oh, god damn it. <sighs> okay, so you do need to jump there. It's all trial and error, this. Although I do think I've mentioned that before. Ooh, bananas. I'll take those. Oh, no, no. Whoa. Okay, I, for a moment there I thought I was going to die before I was even in a minecart. Oh, dear. Alright, here we go again. Get the K for kiss my ass, because that's what this, this level can probably do. Or kick my ass, also. Bloody flaming tiki. <sighs> oh boy, oh boy. I totally need to have a relaxing cup of tea after narrating this. Even though I don't even drink tea. Tea's bloody disgusting. I don't like it at all. Then again, I'm not British. I'm not saying that all British people drink tea. It's just the stereotype. No, watch Ray William Johnson's bloody song. Oh, yeah. Oh, crap. Duck. Jump. And now it's all going downhill from here, people. Yep. There you have it. Splendid. I am so awesome at this game. It's simply unbelievable. I'm like the best Donkey Kong Country Returns player ever. Without a like, freaking doubt on my mind. So here we go again. How many more thingies until I get the super guide? Like five or something? I think I died way more times than three. I think you get the super guide when you die like eight times. Okay, here we go again. I do keep getting a little bit further each time. Jump. Jump. Yeah, whoa, whoa, crap, no! See? Like the rails like being blasted up by the lava made me think I had to jump there but it just keeps fooling you like that this bloody level <sighs> I really do hope this is the final minecart level please no more just put me out of my misery right now because I just can't take this like these kinds of levels anymore oh, oh come on Jumped like one millisecond too soon and that has you missing the barrel cannon and dying. Ain't that perfect. Screw that flaming smiley face. Don't care about you. What's that barrel cannon down there for anyway? As far as I know you can't get in that. Though there might be a way, though I don't know how. 
probably doesn't really matter. Oh, come on! Yeah. Oh, there he is. Well, we'll keep trying, I guess. You know, try and regain my, like, even a little bit of my lost honor. So, we'll just see. Probably have to resort to the super guide later on, but we'll just keep on trying until I get so pissed off that I just can't take it anymore. Like there. See, you jump like uh, half a second too late and the game just gives you a big F you and like as you completely miss the minecart. <sighs> maybe if I had Diddy with me I could have kind of like steer a little with the jetpack and maybe land on that thing but no they don't give you a Diddy barrel in this level because they're douchebags. Freaking Retro Studios. Weren't for the fact that you made Metroid Prime, I would be so completely pissed at you. Mm. Yeah, just keep sitting there for a moment, pig, and I'll be right with you. Just a few more goes. Because I'm really getting sick and tired of this level already. And I'm sure you are as well by watching it now. Or if you've played this yourself probably know what kind of a frustrating level this was. Don't know if you beat it with or without Super Guide. If you beat it without using the freaking Super Guide, you are either very good at this game, very lucky, or you just completely hacks. Okay. That was just a really messed up jump right there. Not now, pig. Just go boil yourself in lava. Make me some bacon when I get back here to use the super guide. Although I'm not much of a fan of bacon. Yeah, it's not my preferred breakfast. Though that's like what Americans eat for breakfast because when I was in Florida, oh boy I had breakfast at Denny's every day and the the stuff they served at breakfast there, unfrickin' believable. You could have a bloody T-bone steak for breakfast. Like what the hell, that's not breakfast, that's dinner. Apparently, Americans start out the day with dinner. Sounds good to me. I mean, I had, like at Denny's, I had bacon and eggs and uh, so sausage and some other stuff. Now I know why all Americans are so fat. I mean, if they all eat that kind of stuff for breakfast, it's no wonder they're all morbidly obese. They should just outlaw Denny's. Totally. McDonald's and Burger King and KFC like in that South Park episode with the medicinal marijuana that one was still an awesome episode okay yes yes oh crap no <sighs> sigh just stay there pig I know it keeps telling I'm gonna use the freaking super guide but then it always ends up I don't hmm maybe I should just stop saying that and just beat the bloody level I mean if you just keep trying you'll get it eventually that's how I beat Mr. Sandman and punch out yes that's another hard as balls game you know what I've had it super guide yes I've been wasting nine freaking minutes on this level and I've had enough Super Kong, show me how it's done. Yeah. Well, at least you're taking it slow on this part. Hell, I just flew right through this. It takes the time to kill that damn thing. Oh, come on, Super Kong, stop wasting my time and just get through the bloody level. You stupid white monkey. Alright, there he goes. Man, this level is freaking hectic. I mean, if I'd be riding in a minecart on top of train tracks or being blown apart by lava, I'd be panicking out of my bloody mind. Yes, duck. And jump over the tiny lava thing there. Wait, if those rails are in the lava, wouldn't they have, like, melted a long time ago? As far as I know, like, metal or steel doesn't really hold up that well to lava. 
Okay, there was a checkpoint pretty close by, although I'm not really sure I would have made it to there. Damn, this level does not mess around. Oh, hey, look. No more minecarts. But this also looks pretty freaking tricky platforming. Yeah, it's probably for the best that I let freaking super guy do this. Go, 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 go. Yeah, I totally don't regret it at all. Probably could have done this part though, the non minecart parts of the level. Oh crap. Lava rushing up. Oh, that's meant to be like that. Yeah, just look at what the hell's going on here. Like, how the hell are you ever supposed to be able to keep a your attention on the bloody track? But yeah, thanks Super Kong for making my life easier. And for getting me a crap load of dislikes and hate comments, most likely. Anyways, at least now we can move on. Thank goodness. So what do we have now? 8584 eight, Smoky Peak. Sounds like another volcano level. Duh, we're in Volcano World. God, I'm being stupid today. Oh, thorns. And smoke. Oh, it's one of these levels again. Well, as long as it's easy, I don't mind. Diddy Barrel, get it. Ah, it's good to have Diddy with us again. Hey, <sighs> well, that's one smoky volcano, all right. That's like much worse than the one in freaking Iceland, which messed up plane travel in Europe for ages. Yeah. Oh, look, it's another Rambi level. Nice. I haven't seen him in ages. And he just bashes right through everything. Just the way we like it. Go, Rambi. Go. Just crash through everything. Hello, Rambi. Ah, oh, come on. How the hell was I supposed to know that was going to be some lava dripping rock? Because it's kind of hard to see if everything's in bloody black and reddish yellow orange. Mm. Mm -hmm. Get the ditty barrel again. I hate those flying tiki's. Come on, land on that one. Getting pretty close to losing ditty again there. Really don't want that to happen. Come on, get me the Rambi out of his box. Why is he in a crate anyway? Like, the Tiki's managed to lock him up? I kind of find that hard to believe. Because he's a bloody rhino and they're like wooden statues with, with banana pulp in them. You know, we saw them in the factory. They're like wooden shells with banana pulp and then they somehow come to life. I don't understand how that works either. Yeah, come on, drip your bloody lava so I can just get a move on. Mm -hmm. Ooh, checkpoint. Nice. And a Rambi crate right behind that just in case you die and you lose him. How convenient. And, of course, now things start shattering underneath us. Luckily, we still have Diddy Kong, so... We can fly in case it's necessary. And just run right through everything. Because that's what rhinos do best. Like whenever you see a rhino heading your way, just run like hell. Because there's no way. Ah, nuts. And now I probably lost Diddy. Yeah, I don't see a Diddy barrel around here. Whoa. That's a big freaking drop of lava. Damn. Oh, no, no. Okay, that's a pretty tricky part. Although it's probably not something I'm going to be needing the... Oh wait, there is a Diddy Barrel, except it requires some slight backtracking. Well then, we'll just do that. We'll do everything for Diddy Kong. Looks like a nostril. Like shooting out a nasty yellow booger. I mean, that's kind of what I look like when I have a terrible cold. Like in the winter time. Alright, to go back and get the Diddy Barrel. Take a hit from an unnecessary flying tiki. Let's free Rambi and just get on our merry way again. Lava booger. Nice. Someone give this volcano a napkin. Or a handkerchief. 
Okay, now I can go. Brilliant. It just requires some patience. Patience really is key with this game. Although, all <coughs> you will also probably need some anger management after a while. I will totally need to go and watch some freaking relaxing TV after recording this episode. Keep going. Don't die. Where's the endgame barrel? There it is. And we will see you in the next part of DKCR.